Hey, welcome back to Brick Math with Dr. D. Today, we're gonna to be doing a lesson for younger learners in math about basic addition and subtraction. The first thing you're gonna need is a base plate and some bricks. So you can decide on your size of base plate. You can use a small base plate, a uh, 20 by 20 base plate, or if you have some big base plates, either will work. You're gonna need different size bricks. We're gonna start with what does addition mean and how can we do some basic addition? So when you look at the brick, you need a two by two brick. So we're gonna place that right on the base plate, two by two brick. And when you think about addition, addition means joined with or added to. So we're gonna choose a two by four brick and we're gonna join it with and add it to our two by two brick. So now we have four added to eight four added to eight. And we wanna find a brick that will fit underneath that, that will be the same size. And that brick that we have is our sum. So we have our add-in, our add-in, and our sum. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So four added to eight is equivalent to 12. Now, one of the things, if you're having trouble counting, you can simply use your fingers and count the studs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then you can make sure that your brick matches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have basic addition. So now let's let you try one. So how about if you add a two by four and a one by two? So see if you can now find the matching brick and find the sum for this. So take a moment, find your sum and see if your model matches mine. So, how did you do? Did you get eight studs as I did? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, using a two by four brick underneath your two by three and your one by two brick. If you did not, go back and check your work. Now, I have some problems up here for you to practice. So we have 10 added to six. Now remember, the 10 brick is a one by brick. So it's gonna be a one by 10. And then you also have one by six. So you're gonna add those together side by side like that. So they look a little different than the two by bricks. So go ahead and try each of these problems and then come back and check your work. So how'd you do? So here we have this first one where we have 10 added to six, or six added to 10, we have 16. One by 16 brick will do that. Or if you had different bricks here, just make sure you have 16 that are the same color on the bottom. In the second one, we have 20. We have a two by 10 brick and eight, and we have 28. And then here we have, um, we have our 16 and our four and that is equivalent to 20 as well. So how did you do? If not, go back and check your work. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Brick Math with Dr. D. Stay tuned for subtraction in our next video. So now that you've had an opportunity to work with addition, let's look at what subtraction looks like. So our first problem up on the board is eight take away two. And I've drawn a little model up there where that question mark is, is the missing piece. So when we build this with our Lego bricks, we start with our two by four, we line up our one by two, and we see which brick fits in the hole. And the brick that fits in the missing piece or the hole there is your solution. So we have eight take away two, is the sixth two by three brick or the sixth stud bricks. 
So the answer is six. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna write our equivalency sign and the number six. So now let's move to our second one and then we'll let you try one by yourself. Let's build 10, take away four. So that could look a couple of different ways. But first it could look like 10 and we could use a one by four for our four and we could find the missing one right there. Or it could look like, um, you could do it with a double. Let's see, let's use a double like this. So now we have 10 and we are using a two by three, or a two by two, sorry, for the missing piece. So you could have a single stud model or a double stud model on this drawing. So now what I want you to do is see if you can build one of the two of these or both if you'd like and find the missing brick. So take a minute and find the missing brick and then come back and check your answer to see if yours matches mine. Okay, so did your answer match my answer? So when you look at your models, you should have six as the solution to this problem. Now with these two, you should have noticed something about addition and subtraction, that they're opposite of each other. So subtraction re um, takes away from where addition adds to. It kind of undoes addition. So let's look at what the drawing for these two might look like. So when I have the 10, I would have my 10 bricks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My one by ten. Then I would have my one by four that I'm taking away here. And then this is what I'm finding. And we know that from our model, the answer is six. Now, if you did the double drawing, your double drawing would look like this. One, two, three, four, five. And we would have the uh, one by four brick right, or the two by two brick right here, sorry, and we'd be looking for the answer there. So you can use base plate paper, which we have on our website for purchase, or you can use regular notebook paper or graph paper and draw your drawings. All right, are you ready to do some by yourself? Let's try a couple. So the first one we're gonna do is 20 take away six. So find a set of bricks that would give you 20 studs that are the same color, or you can use a one, one brick, if you have a two by 10 brick, you can use that across the top. So find yourself uh, 20 studs that are the same color and subtract six. Come back and check your answer for that one when you're done. So how'd you do on your answers? Does yours look like mine? So you started out with the 20 on top, we took away the six, the missing piece would be your 14 here in the middle. We have 20 in a single stud here, if you built a single stud model. We have our six and our 14 single studs here. So I hope you did well on addition and subtraction today. Remember, you can go online and order the materials from www.brickmassseries.com.